What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news, some unfortunate news concerning Frankie Randall. Frankie Randall has passed away at the age, the young age of 59, and he was, of course, an American boxer. He he fought from 1983 to 2005. He was a three-time light welterweight champion. He had the WBA, the WBC, and the lineal titles between 1994 and 1997. His biggest win was against uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, okay, their uh, first fight. And that was back when Julio Cesar Chavez was 89-0 and 0 with one draw. Now, everyone remembers, or should you should, if you don't, I'm going to give you a backstory on um, <clears throat> Julio Cesar Chavez was the great Mexican warrior and champion. And he fought a very controversial, uh, fought down to a very controversial draw with Pernell Whitaker. And a lot of people thought that Pernell Whitaker beat Julio Cesar Chavez, including myself. It was just a, cure, a, a clear case, but of course it was biased judges and they pretty much gave it a draw because they know that to save to, to save the face of the the Mexican great Mexican champion, they gave it a draw, which led to that underlining word that they didn't use back in those times, karma. Okay, because the very next fight, Julio Cesar Chavez was beaten by Frankie Randall, was dropped the first time in his 14-year career against Frankie Randall. Okay, Frankie Randall was a guy that he had a, 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 a few blemishes at that time, okay? Um, and I want to talk to you guys about that. Uh, when he fought <clears throat> uh, Juan Martin Koji, it was, uh, again, uh, one, of those, uh, one of those epic uh, fights that he's uh, fought numerous times. It was uh, Juan Martin uh, Koji out of Argentina. He fought him. Uh, a few times. Julio Cesar Chavez, he lost in 1994 um, because he lost the rematch to Julio Cesar Chavez along with the next fight. But he was the one that broke the wheel because if, if you can do anything, you have to do something defining. Just like someone now to this day is going to have to knock down or knock out <clears throat> Can Canelo Alvarez. Okay. Um, Juan, Man Juan Manuel Marquez, but uh, Julio Cesar Chavez was the same type of fighter that, you know, needed that same thing to happen to him, and it happened by the hands of Frankie Randall. Now, his untimely death was because of Parkinson and dementia, okay? So, he suffered from that. He suffered 18 losses, okay? Um, <clears throat> he had uh, 58 wins, 42 by knockout, 18 losses, and one draw, you know, and of course it just shows you that this sport, you don't always die in the ring of this sport. Sometimes you die slow due to illness of having too many blows to your head. Okay. So, you know, you have to keep in mind for all the people that use fire stick and cheat to watch free fights, understand this the people, these fighters are putting their lives on the line. So if you really support, I really support and respect the sport you would buy the fight, okay? It's prize fighting, okay? These guys uh, hurt each other to other people's entertainment. That's the truth of the nature. And Frankie Randall is no exception. Of course, Frankie Randall paved the way for fighters like uh, uh, um, Zab Judah, Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, those type of guys were under the tutelage of Frankie Randall. Sparred several sparring matches with Frankie Randall. Floyd Mayweather spent a lot of time with Frankie Randall, and he can tell you a lot more than I can about the fallen ex-champion. But anyway, that's, um, <clears throat> that's my news on Frankie Randall. You guys tell me what you think about Frankie Randall's untimely death. Please subscribe, and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.